Calculus problem of the day number five is probably the toughest problem in this pre-algebra section. It involves logarithms. We are given some logarithm values, and we need to ultimately find the value of this logarithm right here. To do this, we need to remember some properties of logarithms. One property of logarithms that you might remember is that if there is a quotient of two things inside of the argument for a logarithm, we can split that logarithm up into two pieces by subtracting those two logarithms. If you want a video about the properties of logarithms, I'll pop up a link here for you. So the first log rule that we used up here was called the quotient rule, and that's a quotient rule for logarithms. We're actually going to learn a quotient rule of our own for calculus, for derivatives. And it's almost always the case that there are multiple ways to go about doing problems like this. But no matter which direction we go, we need to remember that a square root is the same thing as a one-half power. But the next rule for logarithms that we need to remember is called the power rule for logarithms. And that says that if we have a power on an argument inside of a logarithm, like we do with this one-half, we can take that one-half and bring it out in front of the logarithm. Finally, to complete this problem, we need to recall a product rule for logarithms, which says that if we have a product of two things inside of a logarithm, which we do right here, that we can split that up into two pieces by adding those two terms. Now we've broken this logarithm down into its three basic components, log base b of x, log base b of y, log base b of z. We were given values for each of these in the setup for the problem. So we just need to substitute these three values into this expression and we'll get ourselves a final answer. And hopefully I didn't plug this into my calculator incorrectly. I'm getting an answer of negative 0.375. That is going to be the final answer to this problem. I hope that this helps you out and reminds you about a few things about logarithms that you may have forgotten. I'll see you in the next Calculus Problem of the Day.